What's up, y'all? We just started streaming Beat Saber on Twitch and we've been having a lot of fun with it. And there's one mod in particular I just wanted to talk about today that just really enhances the experience, and that's the Song Request Manager. This gives your viewers the ability to request a song that loads right into your Beat Saber game that you can just jump in and play. So today's video is gonna talk about how to install that and how it all works. You ready? Let's jump right in. I've got to give kudos to Boulders2000 for the solution on this one in the Beat Saber modding group Discord. The instructions were extremely easy to follow and I wanted to be able to share it with you here. If you haven't seen our other video on how to enable Twitch chat in Beat Saber, I'll link it up here to where you can check it out. But in today's video, we're answering the question of how can we enable song requests within Beat Saber. Links to everything you need will be down in the description below. We're going to start off by downloading the Song Request Manager. Once you've downloaded that, we need to go ahead and extract it. I'm just going to extract it right here. And in the folder is this songrequestmanager.dll. We need to copy this over to the Beat Saber core game folder. For most people, this is in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Beat Saber, or wherever your Steam games are installed. This DLL file over here for Song Request Manager, we're gonna copy that right over into the plugins folder. Once that's done, we need to install Stream Core from Mod Assistant. If you don't already have Mod Assistant, you can download it from github.com forward slash assistant forward slash Mod Assistant. Click on the big blue download here icon and then download the exe file. Now, I already have Mod Assistant installed. But normally, I just copy this EXE right into my core Beat Saber folder. It's just an easy place to keep it to where I never lose it or never have to worry about it. Go ahead and open up Mod Assistant. And we're looking under Libraries for Stream Core. You want to check that and click on Install or Update. Once that's done, you can close out Mod Assistant. And then we need to go ahead and run Beat Saber once. Let's go ahead and do that now. Perfect, we just needed to open up Beat Saber. We can go ahead and quit. In the Beat Saber folder, we need to go to User Data, Stream Core, and then look for this Twitch Login Info INI. Right click it and select Edit. This is gonna open up with three fields that need to be filled out. Twitch Channel Name, Twitch username and Twitch OAuth token. Twitch channel name and Twitch username is just your Twitch information. Your Twitch OAuth token you can get from twitchapps.com forward slash TMI. Click the big connect button and it'll generate your OAuth code. Copy that. Go ahead and close out that window and paste it right in. Make sure you're including that OAuth colon part of the of the entire code. Once you do that, go ahead and hit save. And then relaunch Beat Saber and let's test this out. Once you're in Beat Saber, go ahead and select solo. And you're gonna see this SRM button in the top right corner. It'll be red if you don't have any songs in the queue and it'll be green if you do have songs in the queue. If you click on that, you'll see your songs listed up here. So how do we add songs to the queue? To request a song, we need to go to bsaber.com and then select the song that we want to request. Once we find that song, there's this Twitch icon right next to it. If we click on that, it's going to copy a code to our clipboard. Once we've got that, we'll go over to Twitch chat. All right, in the Twitch chat, we'll just paste that code in and hit chat. And immediately after, we'll see that the song has been added to the queue. Now back over into Beat Saber. Beat Saber now shows the icon is green, that there's a song in the queue. If we click on it, we'll see the song listed up. All you have to do is click on the song, hit play, gonna download, and we're ready to roll. And that's it. You're all set to take requests in Beat Saber while streaming. If this guide helped, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you like this video, here's a few others you might like as well. 
To all my streamers out there, drop a link to your channel in the comments. I'd love to check it out. If not, no sweat. Leave a comment anyway and tell me about your favorite Beat Saber mods. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned and I hope y'all have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next one.